In the coral reef, where speed is often key to survival, one creature breaks all the rules. It's time you met the walking fish. And no, it's not a seal or a crab. This master of disguise is a frog, fish. And yes, it's as peculiar as it sounds. Forget elegant gliding. These fish have adapted their pectoral and pelvic fins into stout leg-like appendages. With them, they don't swim so much as stroll across the ocean floor and can even hop or gallop in their own clumsy way. Why bother? Because for a frogfish, swimming is a waste of energy that could be better spent on the art of the ambush. And the first rule of ambush is to disappear. Their lumpy, wart-covered skin perfectly imitates the sponges and corals they call home. Some, like the hairy frogfish, are covered in spines that look just like algae, and they can even change colour over weeks to match a new hiding spot. But camouflage is only half the trick. The frogfish's secret weapon is a modified dorsal spine on its snout, called an elysium. At the tip is a fleshy bait, the esca, which it wiggles like a worm or shrimp. It's a built-in fishing rod. An unsuspecting fish, seeing an easy meal, swims in for a closer look. The frogfish remains perfectly still, a silent predator waiting for the perfect moment. Then, in a flash, it strikes. The attack is one of the fastest in the animal kingdom, taking as little as six milliseconds. Its mouth expands to 12 times its normal volume, creating an inescapable vacuum that sucks in water and prey. It's so powerful, they can swallow victims even larger than themselves. You can find these incredible hunters in tropical and subtropical waters around the world, from the colorful painted frogfish to the colossal giant frogfish, ruling their domain from shallow reefs to the deeper ocean. In the grand theater of evolution, the frogfish traded endurance for unparalleled stealth and deadly efficiency. So next time you're exploring the underwater world, look closely at that unassuming lump of coral. It might just be the smartest, slowest hunter in the sea, proving that sometimes the best strategy is to wait for dinner to come to you.